Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for, well, around the 11th. So this is right around the 11th, but you know the timing is fluid, so we're just going to see what comes up. What do we have for a message today, dear God, angels, spirits, and universe? Please forgive the noise in the back. They're putting up trim today. So, or he is putting up trim today. Anyhow, uh, what do we have for a message today? I should be in my new room in no time. Week? Anyhow. What do we have for a message today? Good news! What I see is the Eight of Wands. Some sort of news is going to be arriving. Some some sort of message. Triumphant news. That's what the Eight of Wands is. So we're talking about the 11th here. Ooh, what a way to start the day with a tower. Okay. So we all know the tower is a major disruption. It's a shock. It's explosive. This is a life change. Somebody may be going through an internal disruption. Um, looks like some. There's like a false sense of security. There's no glue holding something together. And uh, somebody may be falling apart or something may fall apart. could happen very suddenly. One wrong move and it's over. It's over. So something uh, looks like an explosion or, you know, a uh, fall. Somebody is falling down or they've, uh, it's a crash. It almost feels like this guy did it on purpose. Like, you know, he's like, to hell with it. Uh, to hell with it. That looks like a to hell with it to me. You know? It's like, I'm just going to let this crumble. I'm going to let it happen. I don't, you know, I don't want to do this anymore. It looks like it's, it's um, done. You know, I'm done with this. I'm, I'm just, this is like, to hell with it. That's what I feel like, to hell with it. To hell with it. Um... I'm ready to start over. I'm going to do something different. That's what it feels like that is. Nine of Cups reversed. Now, there's dissatisfaction. We got somebody here not happy. They're not happy. It's like a wish hasn't been granted. Very unhappy, dissatisfied. But when I see the Nine of Cups, it's coming. Oh, it's like something is coming. It means that a wish is about to be fulfilled. Things are about, you have to think about it and wish for it. This guy, Avi, or this person has been thinking about wish fulfillment. They may have been holding on to a false sense of security or building up something false or protecting themselves or, or wasting their time doing something else. But wanting, thinking while they were building up of this false sense of security, obviously thinking, because this is thinking, definitely thinking about happiness. If you're single, you're going to be meeting somebody soon. Because that's the Nine of Cups in reversed. There could be a deep soul contract or a deep soul connection that is coming soon. Now, this is starting over, building a new foundation after being in a fault sense of security where there was no glue or it wasn't stable or it wasn't secure or whatever. It's like this guy's just like, to hell with it. That's what this is, too. To hell with it. I want happiness. I want to have it all. I want to have it all. So, hmm. Paranoid. We have somebody here that's fearful, fearful of stepping outside of their comfort zone, uh, maybe in, in some sort of mental conflict and mental turmoil, may have been lying to themselves, may have been cheating themselves, deceiving themselves, um, staying in their safety zone, not wanting to step outside of their safety zone, but um, all tied up, obviously, um, restricting themselves because of their thoughts. Somebody who has been thinking a lot, a lot, 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 thinking a lot, trapped in their mind, trapped in their thoughts, unable probably to, well, staying in their safety zone, unable to break free from their own prison, mental prison by the looks of things, able to break free, but not choosing to. So choosing to stay in a troublesome mindset protecting themselves from unknown territory. So they, we definitely have somebody here that was uh, protecting themselves. 
protecting themselves from uh, getting into anything that is false by the looks of things. I'll just stay right here where it's safe. But now it's like to hell with it. I want this happiness. I want this wish fulfillment because it's not happy. There's an opportunity for happiness here with the Nine of Cups. But you're going to have to step outside of your comfort zones. We have somebody here that has been struggling to uh, open themselves up. They've been staying where it's safe. Two of Wands reversed. Now the Two of Wands reversed is... That safety zone. It is definitely, that's fear of change, indecisiveness, restrictions. We definitely have an individual here that has been wanting to play it safe, staying put, you know, procrastinating, um, has a lot of self-doubt, choosing, choosing the mundane life, choosing the safe life, choosing the safe route, unable to make a lot of indecisiveness here. But now this is to hell with it. I'm, I'm going to, because that is like to hell with this false sense of security, to hell with this false foundation, to, to hell with this, to hell with this unhappiness. The high priestess reverse, choosing to be single. Somebody was choosing to be single, wanting to be alone. They chose to be single for some time. It's a high priestess reverse. Something's about to be revealed as well. We have an individual that has been ignoring their into, into intuition. They've been ignoring it. They've been ignoring their self. They've been ignoring their own needs. Ten of Swords. Now, the Ten of Swords is, is an ending. It's a painful ending. We may have somebody here that is not very spiritual. They're not very awakened. They haven't been listening to their intuition. They're facing some sort of internal disruption as well. This individual is facing internal disruption. Okay, this is internal. This is a disruption. They're not really happy with their current circumstances, but it's safe. It's very, very safe. There could be a sudden change with the Two of Wands reversed, and this is very sudden as well. The, it, it definitely, this person that has been fearful of change and fearful of um, going after what they want may have a sudden change, of a sudden, um, I don't know, disruption within them. That, But this is a painful ending. That this person that is fearful had a had something end very very badly. That's why they have chosen to be single. That's why they have confined themselves. That's why they have restricted themselves and not allowed themselves to step at, step outside of their safety zone because they had a situation that nearly killed them. They were in a situation that was so painful. So now they have built up a barrier per se they've built up this wall by the looks of things that's why they've chosen to be single um page of wands reversed so that's that's uh, failure to launch bad news makes excuses procrastinating yeah somebody has been procrastinating but there is something that is about to be revealed. There is something that is about to be revealed. Lack of togetherness, lack of communication, um, disharmony. So we have a we have a partnership where there's been uh, little communication or no communication or no good news coming in. Uh, you know because we have somebody that is very restricted, very fearful of uh, building up a false sense of security. I don't want to build up a connection just to have it crumble. There's a lot of fear here. There is. There is. Um, pain. We have a lot of pain. Somebody that is suffering. They're, they are in a lot of pain. Hurt. Grieving. Sad. A lot of sadness here. This is bad news. I'm not sure. I mean, the tower could be a shock, a shocking event. 
something could happen all of a sudden that it's life changing. This is this tower is life changing. So there's a life changing event here that uh, is causing somebody a lot of mental conflict, a lot of mental turmoil. It's not good, okay, with the Page of Wands reversed. There's a lot of pain being inflicted. Somebody is feeling the pain. They are feeling uh, really, really hurt, okay? It's bloody, put it that way. It is bloody. It's bloody. This is painful. So there's, there's some sort of a painful situation that is happening right now. Um, there's heartache, okay? There's definitely some heartache. Somebody is... Is, is feeling a lot of pain. I don't know, somebody may be dealing with um, an individual who has chosen to be single and the other person is dying, you know, hurting so bad. Um, the Three of Wands. The Three of Wands is get prepared for an arrival. Get prepared. Um, something may have arrived and... Oh, we got all these threes, huh? It's the answer to your prayers, but you may not see it. You may not see it. Three, three, three. Three, your prayers have been heard. Three, three, three. Anyhow, um, this is praying and hoping for the best. Somebody has been procrastinating. We have a very individual here that is very much scared. They're scared to open up. They're scared to um, work together with anybody. They are. They're scared to. They're scared to, of getting hurt because they were hurt so bad in the past. But, but that three of wands is praying and hoping for the best. Something is about to come. Some There's some sort of arrival or some something is about to uh, show up. Yes, it is. Knight of Swords. Here it is. Something is about to change really, really, really fast. All of a sudden, this guy is on a mission. This guy is a protector. He is on a mission. He knows what he wants and he goes for it. And there's no stopping him. He faces his fear. Fearless. Fearless. So, get prepared for an arrival. There is something going about to happen. This is a shock. It's interesting because this is kind of like a tower energy. It's all of a sudden, all of a sudden, there's a change. There's a change of heart. Okay? Um, something is, is rushing very fast. Somebody has decided they've made a decision. They know what they want. Get prepared for an arrival of some sort. After there's been a lot of freaking fear. Ooh, two of cups on the bottom. So this is a, this is a new partnership or a reunion. Okay. There was some sort of disharmony, but this is coming back together. Unity, love, compatibility could be a potential soulmate connection. This is finding balance. Could be a proposal. So I feel as though right around the 11th, somebody is uh, rushing. They know what they want. They've gotten some sort of epiphany. Now, this is a rude awakening. Okay, the, the tower is often a rude awakening. Somebody may have gotten some sort of rude awakening. This is a change of mindset with the Knight of Swords. This person is on a mission and there is no stopping this person. Get prepared for an arrival. There is a lack of communication, a lack of togetherness. This is very sudden. There's just This is a sudden change. Somebody is, is facing their fears. They're letting go of their fear. They are letting go of their fear, but their fear was great. It was huge. But this is a soulmate connection. It is. It's clear. So uh, I feel like we have this fearful individual that is about to push their fears aside and come charging in like, uh, <laughs> I don't know what, what would you call this person? I don't know, but he's on a mission, put it that way. This person is on a mission. He's about ready. 
There ain't no stopping him. Get out of my way. Anybody that gets in his way could get hurt. He knows exactly what he wants. This is a protector, a warrior. Six of Cups reversed. Now, he may have been freed from his obligations. He may have been let go. Somebody, you know, he may have. Maybe maybe because of uh, this Page of Wands, somebody may have given up. Six of Cups reversed. And he doesn't want this person to give up. He or she. This is somebody that is, is this is like a knight in shining armor. No kidding. This feels like it's a soulmate connection. It does. It feels like it's a, or a past life connection. It's a past life connection. I feel like um, this is like nothing stays the same. Ready to leave the past hurts behind. Ready to build a new foundation. Ready to let go of those fears. Ready to uh, step outside of their safety zone. Somebody's about to step outside of their safety zone and come charging into somebody's life that they feel a soulmate connection with. That's what I see. Get prepared. Get prepared for this arrival. And there was some pain inflicted, for sure. This is previous pain. Somebody has caused another person pain. They have. But maybe there's going to be a reunion or something. It feels like that's what it is. Anyway, good luck. And this could be somebody from a past life. Good luck.